Hi guys, higher maths, trigonometric expressions. We are moving on to the wave function today. Now, just looking at this, this could be a little bit overwhelming because it looks reasonably complicated. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a chat about what the wave function actually is and what it does and why we use it. So if we have root three cos x, for example, which is the red graph here, so that's a, a root three cosine x. So that's a cosine graph that goes to height of root three and a minimum height of negative root three. So as an amplitude of root three has the normal period of 360 degrees. I've also drawn the graph of y equals sine x. So there's a sine curve, a maximum height of one, a minimum height of negative one. Does everything you'd expect it to do. Now, if I try to add these two graphs together, I would, without my knowledge of being a math teacher, obviously, I would expect these graphs just to be a little bit of a kind of zigzag and it wouldn't come out overly smoothly just looking at that. But the joy of Desmos is it will take both of the graphs and add the values together between negative 90 and 450 degrees for us. And it actually comes out with a nice smooth curve. So that green graph there adds together the blue and the red graph for every value. So here, got a height of zero and a height of two, added together gives two. So here the height is roughly, I don't know, 0 0.8, 0 0.9-ish. The same on both graphs, so I'd give an overall height of 1.8. Here I've got a height of one and a height of zero, so added together gives one overall. And what we find, interestingly enough, is that it just gives a lovely smooth graph which we'd write as a sine graph that's been moved by approximately 50 or 60 degrees to the left. Or we could write as a cosine graph, which has been bumped along to the right by about 30 degrees. Okay. Now, does that work all the time, or does it just work for these values? Is that a special case? Well, let's have a look at root 3 cos x minus sine x. Okay, and that gives another smooth sine or cosine wave that has been moved left or right by a certain amount of degrees. Now, it would be very nice to be able to calculate how far left or right it's moved. And we will be looking at doing that in this exercise. So again, here we are doing the height of the red graph, subtract the height of the blue graph. So there's the red graph, subtract that much off it that point and we will end up at that height. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple others just in case it always works for root three and one. So we've got three cos x plus two sine x. Again, that is a nice smooth curve. Negative five cos x plus three sine x, just picking some random values. Again, a nice smooth curve. The higher the numbers, it looks as though it's the higher the amplitude. Now, if I change this to a double angle and this to a single angle, then that makes the curve look a lot more different. Okay, let's just zoom, zoom out there. Although if they're both double angles, what happens? It's a smooth curve again. Okay, so both single angles. we get a nice smooth curve. Both double angles, we get a nice smooth curve. But a combination of single and double angles, we do not get a smooth curve anymore. 